Hello everybody, I'm Super Paul Games and welcome to my Sims 3 LP, an LP that has been a long time in the making. In fact, it's been so long, it's been like a decade that people have been asking me to do this and I kept putting them off, that by the time I've finally gotten to it, most of the people that wanted me to do this are probably long gone. See, I like to satisfy. <laughs> Now let us get to the rules of the Let's Play. These are going to be basically the same as they were in my Sims original and Sims 2 LP. Rule number one, we're going to have one character who is basically the main character. I can control him as much or as little as I want. All of the other characters, I guess that's rule number two, I won't control. Um, except to have them find a job. I will have them go search for a job and pick it for them. Other than that, I will not control them if they need to eat, if they need to pee, if they need to survive, for relationships. The rest of it will be on them and their autonomous decisions. And that is the great experiment. So let us move over to meet our family. A little older than her fellow housemates, let's meet Nikki Hardman. She's an animal lover. And hopefully not in the way that puts you in prison. She hates the outdoors. Screw you, bugs and plants. She's hot-headed. Anger. Ain't easy to anger. She's a natural cook. Ooh la la. I love food. I'm a fatty and a party animal. Ruff, ruff, ruff. She dreams of a career in entertainment. Perhaps the film. Some sort of art. As she wishes to be a master of the arts. Unlike me, who is a master of the fart. Next, we have Denise Hardman. She can't stand art. I hate you, Mona Lisa. She's a cat puss person. Get her the pussy. She's a great kisser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those great kissing sounds. She's inappropriate. Unlike me, I'm always appropriate. And she's neurotic. Well, that, that's going to be great in this house. She has dreams of becoming a strong political person. A leader of the free world. And that brings us to Lexi Hardman. She's ambitious. She has great dreams for her future. She's a brave lady. She's a couch potato, too. I guess you bravely lay around on the couch. Look how brave I am sitting here. She's hydrophobic. Not so brave around water, are you, bitch? And she's a mooch. She's like, give me that for your food. She dreams of not only a career in medicine, but she wants to be a world-renowned surgeon. She has very high hopes in the medical field of being able to help people and making a name for herself. And now, let me present to you my dick, Dick Hardman. He's ambitious. He wants to go someplace. He's a coward. Oh no, stay away from me. <laughs> He's frugal. He doesn't waste money, and that's good for us. He has a good sense of humor, supposedly. I guess we will find out about that. And he's handy. Hands off my dick. It says his lifetime wish is to be an international super spy. But what he really cares about is he wants to be a police officer. He wants to fight crime. He wants to be the hardest dick in town. And this leads us to Chuck. Chuck Hartman. He's charismatic. He's good at socializing. He dislikes children. Stupid little poop faces. It's not me, it's him. I don't have a problem with children. He's flirty. Ooh la la. He has a, he, another guy with a good sense of humor. Maybe him and Dick will get along. And he's a great kisser. He's a heartbreaker. That's his lifetime wish. Is basically to be a slut. <laughs> Chuck Slutsworth. And now I would like to present to you the main character of our story. Unless he dies early. Toby Hard. 
What's their name? Hardman? Hardman. He's absent-minded. He doesn't always remember things. He hates art. He's the second person to. They're like, ah, oh, screw art. He's a daredevil. Ooh, that might be exciting. A new evil Knievel. Speaking of evil... He's evil! <laughs> he likes to do dark things. He enjoys the misfortune of others. And he's a kleptomaniac. His lifetime wish is to be the emperor of evil. He has dreams. Evil dreams. He seeks a life of crime. He wants to be like, sort of like a James Bond or Dick Tracy villain. My favorite part is the last thing of the evil description. Evil vigilance is a must! And with that creed... Let's see what evil things the Hardman family... Well, I guess Toby, Har the rest of the Hardman family is not evil. We'll get into. I guess it's time to find a place for our family. Should we get this dog park? Because they're all bitches? <laughs> what do we got here? Civic Center? Can we move into the library? Would it be like that story with the kids who lived in the museum? What's over here? The waste treatment plant? That would suck. I live in the poo-poo water part of town. We wanted a big empty lot, so I think we're going to move in right here. We will purchase that. We got 26 grand. It'll take about 8 grand to buy. So we can start a fresh star for the Hardman family. Alright, so we got our family here. How do I pause this again? Oh, P. Alright, so what do we got? We got Chuck over here. Chuck, Chuck, Bo Buck. We've got lovely Lexi here. We've got the rotund Nikki here. She's like, I'll use my gnome powers on you. How dare you say that? I'm sorry. We've got uh, Denise. We've got... Oh, I hit the wrong button. We've got Dick Hardman. And then we've got our evil mastermind, Toby. So before we do much of anything, we need to build some sort of rudimentary structure for the land. I picked a big lot. Maybe a little too big. We have very limited funds to work with. Right, this will be their main living area. These other places we'll, we'll get to in a moment. Um, oh crap, we need doors, don't we? They need a way to get in and out of the house. <laughs> that would probably be useful. What's cheap? I don't want to spend a lot of money. Alright. Front door. Are these cheaper? 80 80. We'll do these for the interior doors. And then these guys, these losers, need to start getting jobs like right away. So we need computer so that they can find jobs. We get a. It's an easy machine. It's so dark in there. <laughs> and then the cheapest ass chair we can get. Everybody likes an ash chair. Okay. That should be good. Um, I, There are new towns available for your sims to live in. Go fuck off. I'm trying to play the game right now. I don't care. So let us have, I guess, Nikki? How do I look for a job? Jobs and professions. Find a job. Oh, that guy, Chuck is like, I love that door. That door is great. It is. Um, in fact, uh, we're gonna need some flooring. Get some flooring that doesn't suck. And then let us get something useful for there. Where's the bathroom crap? It's gonna be the most depressing bathrooms ever. It's, oh, I want to give the porta potties. Will that work, or is that just for the little? I think it's just for the little kids. No, I want it this way. There you go. Toilet one. Toilet two. Oh, I should have done toilet stalls. But whatever. You get your own room. We're luxurious here. And then a crappy shower. If I can fit it in there. I don't know if that's going to fit in there. Dang it, you stupid shower fit. I'm going to actually have to expand the wall. I don't want to spend extra money. And let's, see, let's finish off the floor again. Where were we? Tiles. Everyone's gonna be like, "This house is so beautiful, Super Paul." I know. I always make the 
The nicest houses ever. We never have depression or anything in these houses. Alright, there we go. We got all that going for him. We'll build the food stuff in a moment. First of all, jobs though. No job, no food. Wait till you check out these toilets. If you like these doors, you're gonna love these toilets. Let's see, a job in the culinary arts? No, she wants something in entertainment, if I remember. Political? No. Journalism? Business? Sports? Science? That's it? Um, I guess journalism is the best she's going to be able to do right now. Denise, why don't you go find a job? Nick, you join a career? I don't care about her memories. I've got, I've got a job! It's a great moment! Shut up. Denise, get out of the... Wait, wait, that's Denise right there. Denise, quit! No, no! Get a job, you losers! Somebody. I think it's Lexi. She likes that shower. Oh, there ought to be a floor in this room. They probably don't want bugs in there. Uh, what's something cheap that doesn't look like dog turd? Wait, let's get some... Wait, is this free wood? How's that zero? How are these all zero? I'll take it. Uh, well, wait, what job did... I think she wanted politics, right? Podium polisher. The town needs strong leadership to enrich society and guide the course of its citizenry. City Hall is currently looking for charismatic individuals who know how to schmooze the right sims for money, as well as manage upwards. Alright, she'll accept that career. Uh, is there a newspaper here yet? No. Uh, Chuck, let's see if... We, uh, I don't think there's the jobs we wanted for these guys yet. I guess we'll just have to make do. Oh wait, newspaper girl! Chuck, uh, go see if there's a job in there. And get, Lexi, get the... Lexi, no games! Find job, work! Everybody's getting along pretty well so far. All right, let's see what do we got in the newspaper. Science job, law enforcement. Oh, wait, no, that's online. Oh, they got different choices. That's not what Lexi wanted, though, right? She, yeah, she wanted a medical job. The hospital could use some caring Sims. Give me some sexual healing, doctor. I think Chuck was the one. No, I don't remember what Chuck wanted. I think he was a slut. <laughs> let's see, law enforcement. Oh, I think it was Dick that one. Professional sports. I guess we'll give him a sports job. Running, jumping. Why don't anyone pay my fat ass to jump? Alright, Dick Hardman. It's time for you to get a job. Lexi, get the hell off the computer. I've really had enough of your bullshit. Where'd everyone else go? Wait, what are they doing way over here? You're not going to murder her back here, are you, Toby? Oh, he's admiring the tree. Now, this tree's pretty nice right here. <laughs> Sneak away from the tree. Why is she laughing at the tree? Alright. <laughs> Dick, find a job. <laughs> uh, he was looking for law enforcement. The presence of crime is evident in all societies. And now we just gotta get Toby... Oh, ooh, people are already not getting along. We gotta get Toby to find a crime job. Dick Hardman's joined law enforcement. Law enforcement's never been harder. We should be able to see. I'm sure they love this room, right? This room is beautiful. Electricity is for winners, and none of these guys are winners yet. Uh, politics, business, crime! It's crime time. The local crime syndicate is looking for Sims to join their nefarious ranks. I like how I like how Toby's just going through the newspaper. I like how old school the crime the crimesters are, that they still advertise in the newspaper. Hey, 
So far, chucking. Oh, Nikki's, Nikki's favorite color is yellow. She's like, my favorite color is yellow. And Chuck's like, that's bullshit. You're bullshit. Toby! This is not a... Probably a great start with people all harassing each other. Alright, they're gonna need... These dinguses are gonna need food at some point. Let us go to the kitchen crap. Ooh, outdoors. They need... They need a grill. Oh, you can buy an automobile? That's not the kind of money they're gonna have. They need a football. <laughs> These are important things you need when you own a home. Like, you gotta have a football. I got my football. Actually, I do have a football over on my couch. It's not far away from here. Let's get them a refrigerator. Probably ought to get them a microwave. Right, let's get them a counter first. And cheap microwave. Probably ought to continue that counter. Not a dishwasher. Oh, actually, they could use. How much is a dishwasher? 300? We'll be nice. We're generous. We'll get them a dishwasher, too. I like to look after my Sims, you know? <laughs> Take care of them. Watch out for how they're doing. Um, where did everybody else go? Oh, they're going to appreciate the tree. Oh, Dick and Denise are getting along. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted... Her job is podium polisher. His job is snitch. Does that mean neither of them like Chuck? They're both talking about Chuck and don't walk somewhere. Denise thinks Dick is okay. Whoa, woman. Keep it in your pants. She's like, that's where I want it. All right. Actually, they're getting along pretty quickly. He's like, oh, I love justice. She's like, I love cops. Ooh, that's what his thing is. He's all about being a cop. Did she say poopy? Oh, man, I like... I like hand... The handcuffs. In the bedroom? No. Oh. <laughs> She's into the same thing, though. She's just like, justice, justice, justice. Cop, cop, cop. What a bunch of losers. <laughs> but they... <laughs> I think that means they both hate Chuck. <laughs> They're bonding over it. Niece thinks Dick is being sociable. Who doesn't like some sociable dick? You know what I'm saying? Denise does. They're getting a lot of mileage out of both hating Chuck. Let's see how Chuck's doing. He don't care. He's just playing games. Yeah, I get it, Toby. I get it, Toby. Oh, they're talking about how he's in the way, I think. I think that's what it is. Because they all want to use the one computer. I, I bought you guys a football. I don't know. Maybe Nikki ate it because I don't know where the football went. Last I saw, she had it somewhere. Best not eat that football. That ain't no pork rind. Even if they call it a pigskin. Mmm, pork rinds. Where the hell are these guys? We have enough We have enough field here where we could have a football field. Oh, they're going to play catch. Yeah. This is so much better than that. LP. Was it the first LP where I made the pool and it was a disaster? So in the far corner, we've got two people bonding over Chuck, Dick Hardman, and Denise. Or they're both just mad about that. Why are you thinking about Toby? All right, maybe we need to fix the house up a little bit more. I guess, they, even though nobody's gone to work, I guess we'll give them a little bit of light. A window of opportunity? That's what this whole family needs. You get one window. That's it. And you get none in the bathroom. You poop in the dark. Is that understood? Oh, we probably need some beds or something, too. Yeah. I guess that means it's time to expand the house further? Or maybe they shouldn't get beds until they've gone to work. 
You don't want to mollycoddle them. Why is Toby thinking about himself? I'm a pretty good bad dude. I hope I didn't pick too big of a lot. For some reason, everybody likes to hang out way out here. Oh, oh man, I love some penance. Chuck, they were all mad at you because you were in the way. What? Denise thinks Chuck is okay. Oh, no. <laughs> that didn't last long. Chuck's like, I like to grab the honkers, you know what I mean? She's like, oh, not the honkers. <laughs> First you're hot and then cold. I guess maybe... Oh, wait. Is this the ice cream truck? I want ice cream. Toby, get yourself some ice cream. Buy yourself an ice cream treat. It's kind of creepy how they've just stopped here and they have no music. They've got tinted windows. <laughs> Toby don't care. I would like a frosty treat, my friend. Ooh, freezer bunny popsicle, please. Oh yeah. Toby living his best life. No, no, no. I don't think anybody has to go to work yet today. I think all their jobs start in the morning. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens to the family. So far, people mostly are getting along. Where the hell's Toby going? Where? Hey, where is Toby going? He's just left. Toby, you're the main star of this game. This LP, you can't leave? I guess nobody tells Toby. Whoa, that's... No. I thought he was going to go pet that dog. Is there some wild horse running around? What the fuck? No, he wanted to come to this... Oh, he wanted to meet this cat. Who's this cat? Manette Bird. Toby's like... Oh, that cat was like, no, I don't like you. If he's going to be an evil, like, super evil villain, he needs a pet cat. Oh, Toby's going to make friends already. Does she want to be pregnant? Dude, run away, Toby. Toby's just like, I like the color red. And she's like, I can't wait to have a baby. <laughs> Toby's so simple. No. She's like, I like white. Toby's like, nope. It's all about red. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving for real. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'll see y'all next time.